junction when Gordon shuffled in with some trucks. Whew, said Thomas. What a funny smell. Can you smell a smell? I can't smell a smell, said Annie. It's a funny, musty sort of smell, said Thomas. No one noticed it until you did, grunted Gordon. It must be yours. Not long ago, Gordon had fallen into a dirty ditch. He knew that Thomas was teasing him about it. Annie and Clarabel, do you know what I think it is? said Thomas. It's ditch water. Gordon didn't have time to answer as Thomas was soon coupled to Annie and Clarabel, and then he puffed quickly away. Annie and Clarabel could hardly believe their ears. He's dreadfully rude. I feel quite ashamed. I feel quite ashamed. He's dreadfully rude, they twittered to each other. They had great respect for Gordon, the big engine. You mustn't be... It's making this too much smoke. This is horrifying, dude. You better change it up. Imagine little kids looking at him. Be rude. You make us ashamed, they kept telling Thomas. But Thomas didn't care a bit. That was funny. That was funny, he chuckled, feeling very pleased with himself. Thomas left the coaches at the station and went off to a mine for some trucks. Long ago, miners digging for lead had made tunnels under the ground. The tunnel roofs were strong enough to hold trucks, but they could not take the weight of the heavy engines. A large notice said, Danger! Engines must not pass this point. Thomas had been warned, but he didn't care. He had often tried to pass the sign before, but had never succeeded. He knew the rules. He had to push empty trucks into one siding and wait to collect full ones from another. This morning he laughed as he puffed along. He had made a plan. Silly old board, he said to himself, getting nearer and nearer to the danger sign. The driver stopped him, and the fireman went to turn the points. Now for my plan, said Thomas, and he bumped the trucks fiercely, jerking the driver off the footplate. Hurrah, said Thomas, as he followed the trucks into a siding. Come back, called his driver. There was a rumbling noise, and the rails quivered. Then the rails sagged and broke. Fire and 